peace to all of you who truly love Jesus Christ. Today I want to share a word that the Lord has on my heart today. And it's, are you seeking for the easy way or are you seeking for the narrow way, the true way? You know, most people in the world today are seeking for the easiest way to uh, walk with God. They want to um, basically get into heaven, but, you know, still be able to have their own lives and still have their own way. And while it sounds good and while many people preach that way, that you can have both, it's not the way that Jesus Christ teaches. It's not the way that we see uh, portrayed in the scriptures. It's not the example that's, that has been given to us. Every example and every teaching shows that the way of the Lord cost. That it takes a work, that it takes every effort, that it takes being violent and pressing your way into the kingdom. You know, all of this is in the scriptures, not just my own words. The Lord says that his way is narrow and few find it. He says to strive to enter in because many will try and won't be able. All scripture. So, you know, you can seek for the easy way or you can seek for the truth. And the truth is that walking with God, our creator, having a relationship with him is going to take for you to have a true repentance. And that means that you change. That means that you stop doing things. That means that you're going to give up things. When a lot of us come into the kingdom, we are still yoked to unbelievers, yoked to family members who are still lovers of this world. And there is no fellowship between light and darkness. Darkness is always going to have hatred towards light. It was that way in the beginning. It was that way when Christ came and it, it is that way now. So you have to be willing to be persecuted. You have to be willing to hate your life in this world. Because lovers of the world do not walk with God. You have to learn what that means to love the world. Because we are in the world, but we should not be of the world. We should not have the mind of the world. Our minds have to be renewed. By the Holy Spirit. By Jesus Christ. You have to be taught by him. You have to be discipled. So you know. This word is very important. Because. In the world today. Most people are being taught. That it's easy to follow God. That you just have to believe. That there's no work to be doing. That, that is not of works. And they are twisting scripture to their own destruction because everything that jesus teaches the one whom we must hear to be saved everything that he teaches tells us that there is a work to do that if your eye is causing you to sin pluck it out if your hand is causing you to sin cut it off and cast it away from you that you know if you uh, build your house on sand that it will fall that those who uh, hear his words and put them into practice they are the ones who build their house on the rock and that house will stand but if you build your house on sand you are the one who hears his words and don't put them into practice that you don't do what he says he says blessed are those who hear his commandments and do them. These are all things that he taught. But most people don't care what he has to say. 
They want to hear their preacher. They want to hear their pastor. They don't want to hear Jesus Christ. And that is what is destruction. That is what will cause you to go to hell. Is when you would rather hear what man has to say rather than the Lord. The Lord says that those that love him keep his commandments. And then he goes and says that those that don't love him don't keep his commandments. So who will you believe? Can you be a follower of Jesus Christ if you don't love him? Of course not. So you know that if you are not keeping the commandments of the Lord, then you don't know him. You are not his. If you are still bound to sin, if you are still yoked to wicked men, the, the word says, woe to you when all men speak well of you. If all of your friends and, and worldly people are okay with you being around them, then you are salt that is worth nothing. Salt that loses its savor, the word says, is worth nothing. Where is your saltiness? Where is your light that shines before men? And see, all of these things are a part of the narrow way. The way that forsakes all that they have. The way that hates their life in this world. Just like the Lord teaches. This is the way into life. And it's not an easy way. It's the true way. And the truth is what you need to seek. Not the easiest way into heaven. Because... In truth, there is no easy way into heaven. All gold is tried by fire. And that is the way of the Lord. He tries his children by fire because he's seeking what is precious. He's seeking what is rare and valuable. And that is those that will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. It is a rare thing because most men love darkness. Most men love their own way. They follow after their own hearts. They follow after the traditions of their fathers. They follow after the religion and way of their fathers. They don't seek the true and living God. They just do what they see. They do what they've heard. But there is one that we must hear to be saved. And if you don't get anything else out of this message, I pray that you hear this. There is one that you must hear to be saved. And that's Jesus Christ. So find out. Seek with all your heart. Seek with all your might what he has to say and obey it that's life there's one mediator between god and man and it's the man christ jesus so you need to know exactly what he has to say and it's all in his word and you hear it through asking him going and working out your salvation with him believing that when you ask him to show you his way. When you ask him to reveal himself to you. That he can do it. Because he's alive. And he's real. So you know, I pray that this message helps you in some way. Be blessed.